Hi everyone, welcome to King's Kitchen. I am Chef Sylvia Dassi and it is always a pleasure to cook along with you. If this is your first time on my social media platform, Facebook, YouTube or Instagram, do not forget to subscribe or follow me. Today on this episode, I will call it episode because it is a culinary tips and nuggets where I come to share with you some of the key information to improve your cooking skills at home. First, we are going to talk about ekwang. Ekwang or ekwang as the Rocco people call it is the traditional dish of the Rocco people in the southwest region of Cameroon. Over the years, I have noticed that a lot of people, especially the younger generation, cook ekwang the wrong way. And then you wonder why your ekwang is either too dry or too thick. Tip number one is knowing what type of cooking yam to use. If you are in uh, the US or in Europe, what I do, I always mix the white cooking yam and the red cooking yam. It gives me a perfect consistency for my ekwang. Second is knowing the size of your leaves because you don't want to wrap the ekwang what I call this one na ekwang, uh, this one na kwaku konobi ekwang. And why do I say that? Because a lot of you wrap your ekwang too big and that is because you cut the leaves too big. The beauty of ekwang is it retaining its finger-like shape when it's cooked. And it gives it that finger licking experience from the flavors that comes from the aromatic spices added into the food. Most of the time, a lot of people, when they cook ekwang, the outcome is that it is too dry or it is too thick. That would take us to tip number three. The first step in uh, cooking ekwang is that, first of all, you uh, grease the pot with some oil and then you place the ekwang in the pot in a crisscross pattern, as I mentioned on my blog and on my website. Most often, a lot of people cook uh, wrap the ekwang and then put it in the pot and then leave a hole in the middle. If that's your technique, that's fine. But for me, I, I place the ekwang in a crease cross pattern. So after wrapping the ekwang, it is ready to now go on the stove. Mistake number one is that a lot of time, a lot of people put all the ingredients in the pot and then allow it to cook. When that happens, it gives you the following result. The ekwang is too thick. Sometimes it may not cook properly, which can cause ad uh, uh, adverse reaction from the cook yams. And also, to me, it's not, it's not flavorful, it's not juicy because all the flavors that come from the ingredients has evaporated. How do you correct this? When cooking ekwang, ekwang requires three cooking processes. First is when you place the pot on the stove, you add about two to three cups of water and then Carefully allow the ekwang to mold. What does it mean by allowing the ekwang to mold? When you wrap ekwang right, what happens is that at the edges you still see kokoyam. When you steam the kokoyam on low heat, the ekwang molds and then it holds. That's very important because it prevents the water from causing the kokoyam paste to wash out of the leaves, which causes the ekwang to be too thick. After that, when the ekwang molds, you now add the second uh, 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 quantity of water depending on the size of the pot and also the quantity of ekwang in the pot. What I do at this stage is to add water to the same level, come up to the same level at the, uh, as the ekwang in the pot and then allow it to cook for about an hour to ensure that the ekwang is done and to prevent any um, uh, any adverse food reaction that can come from the cocoa yams being on cook, what we call in Cameroon, that cocoa de scratch or that cocoa leaf de scratch. And that can be deadly. So after cooking the ekwang for an hour, the next stage, which is the final stage, is when you put the stock of your fish. And by the way, a rock of people cook ekwang with smoked fish. So if by preference you're cooking your ekwang with smoked fish or with meat, the last stage is when you put the stock and the meat in the pot. That is where the flavor of your ekwang is. When you add the stock of the fish in the pot, you can uh, uh, improve the taste by adding your magi, extra magi, extra salt, 
and also you can also add your remaining palm oil in the pot and then allow the acorn to cook when the acorn cooks at this point you will notice that your acorn still has a lot of juice the sauce which you will enjoy when you're eating it with your fingers so the next time you cook acorn Remember these tips that I have given you. Visit my website at kingskitchen.com for the Ikwan recipe the rock away. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time on our next episode on culinary tips and nuggets. Bye-bye.